Hello friends! In our last video, we've introduced how to install and set up the Smart Key Box. In this video, let's go over how to get started with the Smart Key Box app. Download and install the Smart Key Box app. Type, connect and pair the app to the Smart Key Box installed in your car. Launch the app, you'll enter the main screen. And you can operate your vehicle on the main screen. Lock, unlock, open the trunk, panic to locate your car in a parking lot. Long price, unlock or lock or trunk button to trigger the features of the original remote. You can find the settings and share button on the upper left corner and change button on the upper right corner. The pairing status displays in the middle part. It will display your device serial number after pairing. Type on the serial number to customize the name of the vehicle. Press the setting icon and you will take a look at the setting screen. Press connect and you will see automatic connect, which can be toggled on or off. If desired, switch the toggle on to automatically connect device that you've previously connected. Then we'll take a look at advanced setting. You can customize advanced setting to fit your actual needs. Number 1. Lock vehicle after device disconnected. After toggling the button on, the device will lock the vehicle automatically when the app disconnects the device. We strongly recommend that you switch the toggle on to avoid the failure of sending the lock command when the device disconnects from Bluetooth abruptly. Number 2. Automatic close window after lock vehicle. After turning on the feature, long price lock button, the window will close automatically and you can increase or reduce the long price time. Please be noted, the function is only available when the original remote comes with this feature. Number 3. Unlock all doors. For some vehicles, press unlock once to open the driver door and press unlock twice to open all the doors. After toggling the button on, if you want to open all the doors, just simply press unlock once. Please be noted, you can only access the functionality when the vehicle remote comes with this feature. Number 4. Automatic setting. First, toggle automatic setting on. Review the disclaimer provided and then type on agree and open. We'll take a look at the signal strength setting first. Taking universality into consideration, we adopted a Bluetooth communication method and the smirky box actually operate the vehicle based on Bluetooth signal strength. As the Bluetooth modules of smartphones and the location of smart key box installed in the vehicles vary, the app decides the signal strings and the distance based on different standards, leading to varied results. Therefore, after installing the smart key box, it's recommended to adjust parameters and test the results to achieve better app experience. As shown here on the screen, you can set the signal strength of unlock and lock. The signal strings is indicated in negative number. The higher the number is, the better connection the device requires, meaning that your smartphone has to be closer to the device to emit stronger signal. The lower the number is, the weaker signal the device requires, meaning that the device can still receive the signal even when your smartphone is relatively farther to the device. However, in addition to the distance factor, the surrounding environment can also have an impact on the signal strength. For example, there might be distance errors if your device is in a complex condition with physical barriers. The signal strength of unlock and lock are relative numbers, which can be set depending on your preference. The default unlock number is negative 80, and lock negative 86 and the device usually can receive relatively farther lock signal. This is because if unlock and lock signal strength is set to be the same, the device may continually send commands to unlock or lock the car when the driver is moving around the critical threshold of the same strength. It's suggested to adjust the signal strength and test resort on set after installment. Now, I'd like to introduce three modes of lock and unlock. Note, smartphones with different operating systems differ in the features of the app. When the screen is off, the app is running in the background or the app is closed. 
The iOS system of iPhone can still wake up the app to sync commands and operate the vehicle, meaning that you can enjoy the comfort entering and auto lock functions when the app is closed. Whereas Android phones can't achieve such functions due to limitations of the Android system. So you have to open the app to enjoy related services. Instructions on the three modes of auto lock and unlock. There are three modes available to select on the app. Mode 1. Unlock immediately after connecting. As soon as the phone Bluetooth connects to the device, the vehicle is unlocked. Under this mode, once your mobile phone Bluetooth links to the device, an unlock command will be sent instantly without deciding the signal strength, which offers a much better using experience. It should be noted, a very rare case may happen if you select this mode. Device send a lock command closely after unlocking the vehicle. The reason is that the range of the Bluetooth connection of some phones is relatively far. So after unlocking, the app finds the driver is in the range of lock signal strength and then immediately send a lock command. But you can find delete time option here to solve the issue. After the vehicle is unlocked, there will be a short period of time before automatic lock. Mode 2. Auto lock and unlock the car. Depending on the set signal strength, the car automatically unlocks when you approach the car. Unlocks when you leave it. Interference around the vehicle may cause delay occasionally. It's recommended to select mode 1 if you find occasional delay is unacceptable. Mode 3. Click push to lock or unlock the car. When approaching the car, the app will send an unlock notification to the driver, who needs to click it to unlock the car. After leaving the car for a certain distance, the app will send a lock notification to the driver, who needs to click it to lock the car. Note, if you don't tap to lock the car, your car will still be locked by the app based on the Bluetooth signal strength you set, or when the Bluetooth lose connection. You can select any mode above to your preference. Temporarily close settings. When the driver moves around the vehicle for a period of time, the device may have a hard time deciding the signal strength, leading to continuous unlocking and locking. To solve the problem, we offer this option. Enable the function, then you'll find an icon on the main screen, which can be toggled on or off, to turn on or off the mode you selected for a temporary period, and you can customize the term to suit your own personal needs. Thank you so much for watching and we're going to be checking out other features of the app such as sharing and learning mode in the next video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!